up and working. Okay. Open out the toes, open out the heels, spread the toes out nice and wide, and then push down through the feet. Activate those glutes, pull that tailbone down slightly, lengthen up through the crown, take a breath, let the shoulders go. And again, breathing in, exhale, push down through the feet, lengthen through the crown, feel the low centre scooping in, keep the height, let the shoulders go. Okay, let's take the shoulders around, warm them up before we use the band. And around, and down. Yeah, keep the legs active, pushing down into the mat, and around, and down. Do a single arm, breathing in, lift up, open the ribs, and extend to the back, up the side, scooping up, and open. Let's go double arm, scooping tall, a little wriggle to the side, to shift that rib cage, and then come down to the back. We're going to roll down, we'll pick up the TheraBand. Exhale, chin to chest, rolling down, rounding down, we'll stretch into the back of the legs, and you can soften those knees to grab your band. Rebuild, we're rolling back up, restack the spine like a Lego block, up and nice and tall. Activate the legs again, so push the feet into the mat, we're going to take the band around to the low rib cage, we're just on that mid back, just below bra straight line almost. Okay, shoulders are tucked, or elbows are tucked in, and just grab hold of the band wherever feels comfortable for the beginning, and we'll just test out how that goes. Breathe. On the exhale, keep that rib cage tucked in and reach forward and then soften. Again, exhale, push and in. So you want to keep that rib cage stacked above the pelvis and you can tighten the hands, shortening the TheraBand to work a little harder or loosen it off. We're going to push forward and open out to the side and control it back and in. Push. Open, control, and in. Two more here. Push, open, control, and in. Push, open, control, and in. One arm. I'm going to push forward, take one arm to the side. Hold here and make sure the elbows are straight. Reach the band. Reaching. Close to the front and come in. Other side. Push. Open, looking back at that hand, not straight in the arms, reach the band further and close to the front and in. Right, this time we're going to push, we're going to open to quarter and take a leg up and down, close and in. We're going to push, open a quarter, other leg up, down and and down. We're going to make that kind of happen together. So we're going to opening out, leg rises, close and in. push open lift close and in. open lift close and in. open lift close and in. one more side push lift close in push lift close in and release we're going to bring it around I'm going to keep it single as opposed to doubling it up. And the reason for that is we get to see what happens to the dongles and what control we've got. So we're going to raise the band nice and high above us when my shoulders drop down into place. One hand stays fixed. You can loop the thumb around as well if it helps hold it in place. And we're going to pull down with the other arm and then control it back up. And you can release the hand further out if that was too much resistance. You can kind of play with that. Pull and up, pull and up, one more here, pull and up, and come in along the shoulders, just going to get the tension out of that head and knee. We're going to raise up again, drop the shoulders, lock the other hand in place, and we pull down to the other side, and release, pull. I want us to lift this under our toes, so we'll whip through um, some bicep curl work. So just lift up those toes, come on in, hands to the front, 
Roll and tuck the shoulders down at the back. And we'll come and do one full bicep curl first. So exhale, curling up to the top and control it down. Now lifting halfway only for four. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift. All the way to the top, scoop it up, hold, and lower to half and lift it up again. Up. Two. Three. Four, all the way down, control it down. I've got four full lungs to finish. And we're up, up and down. Up and down. Two to go. Up and down. Up and down. And relax the arms. So I'm just come down into a kind of ski jump position. Here. We're holding onto that band with a bit of tension on it. Sit back with the hips a little. I want us to stretch out the band and then make sure the leg is working to control it coming back to parallel. So it wants to ping it in. So step out, control it in. To the end of the match, step out. Control it in. Step out. Control it in. To the other mat. Out. Control it in. Out. Control. Out. Control. So one work, one leg's working quite hard to push against the band. The other leg is controlling it in. Let's do two legs with a little more pace. Ready? Out. Control. Out. Control. Out. Control. Out. Control. Back. Out. Out. Out, back to the middle of the mat. Release. One foot comes in front. Turn the hands toward the ceiling. And we are lifting. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more here. And I'll change the hand position. Two. Hands come in beside us now. We pull up. Two. Three, four. Changing the foot. Other foot in front. Turning hands to ceiling, so it's a full lift first. Lift. Lift. And lift. Bringing the hands in by the side. Pull up. Two. Three. Four. Well done. Let's come down into the mat. So, we're going to tuck one foot in to the handles. Into the band. Elbows onto the floor. Nice and soft with those shoulders. Be aware of neutral spine. We're just going to start a little push. Let's just find where things are and control it in. Exhale, push and control. Add a little lift at the end. Let's push it out. Hold it. Lift. Lower and in. Push, lift, lower and in. Two more here. Push, lift, lower, in. And push, lift, lower, in. Now, friends, we really can take that up a notch. That other leg that's doing nothing, we're going to take that up to tabletop. The same leg again. We've got six more extensions. We push and in. You can do the lift as well. Push. Lift, lower, and in. Push, lift, lower, and in. So we've got nice support from the band. Lower, and in. Last couple. Push, lift, lower, in. And push, lift, lower, in. All done. Stretch the leg out lower. We'll put the other foot back down. And take that leg up to the ceiling. Swap the handles across the body. And grab hold of the same side. Little hamstring stretch here. Wriggle around the foot. Bend and soften that knee. Then pressing it up, trying to activate that stretch into hamstring. Well done. Release the top hand. Hand holding the handles with elbow to floor, and we've got nice big circles around and up so what's so nice cross the handles across to the opposite side there as you get that lovely support to pull the leg so we're able to take the circles a little bigger than we would if we didn't have the theraband two fingers 
things we want to do. I want you to have a go at some more circles with the leg out long, the lower leg out long, so spin. We're just going to find those battles with our flexibility a little more. Around, up, change direction here. And after this one, we're going to bring the other leg back in. So we're still working on that second direction. Last circles. Well done. Soften the heel and change sides. We're going to place our foot in. Separate the handles again. That heel nice and low. Let's give it a test run. Press it out. And release. Push and release. Add the lift. Push, lift, lower, and in. Push, lift, lower, and in. Push. One more here. Push, lift, lower. You can continue like that. We're going to take the other free leg up to tabletop. And the working leg. Push, lift, lower, return. Push, lift, lower, return, four to go. Push, 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 last one. Push, and in, well done. Lower the other foot down, I want to stretch up the hamstring, so push it out, lift it up, take the handles across, and grab hold of the pyramid. Breathe. All right. Other side getting a stretch. I always say that smile. Let your hamstring nose. You're trying to stretch it. Really focusing on that breath out. going to release that top hand. We've got circles to this side. So just getting ourselves set up with some nice circles. Elbow stays on the floor of the working hand. Just keep that shoulder nice and relaxed. Let's continue this direction with the other leg extended long. Change direction. And pause, slide the other leg back in. Continue in that direction for another four. And fold that leg in. Both feet going in. And this is where I like to cross the handles across or cross the band. If we grab hold of the band, it gives us a little bit more support, especially if your legs are a little shorter. The handles make it quite a long length of ribbon. Give yourself that little wriggle around. We're going to imprint that spine down to the mat. Give ourselves the maximum support feedback so we know where we are. Okay, Awesome support from the TheraBand here. It forces the feet together. Knees a little wider. We're going to exhale. I'm going to push out and control them. So again, the hands are just holding a fixed position. We're reaching through the feet and in. Kind of about support, the lower the reach out, the more you're having to work. So take your time, and if you feel your back want to lift at any point, just reverse those knees back in. Exhale, push, and in. I'm gonna make us work slightly harder, but it does help us a little bit. We're gonna curl forward with the upper body. What that does is it drops the rib cage in, increases the workload of these front abdominals. You might find now, you can see where you're going, you might be able to reach out the legs a little lower. You might find you've got better control to be able to hold that neutral spine, the imprinted spine to the mat, to be able to reach and in. Push and in. Okay, we'll get that better activation through the front abdominals. And it just changes our ability here. 
One last one. And in and just release. Take it out a little bit. I'm going to hold it up above my head. So I've got to butt the handles together in one hand. I'm holding near the loop of the other end so my arms are parallel above my head. Well done. So I'm going to keep my arms as they are for now, just holding place. I'm going to do my line dancing legs, then lift one leg, scoop, lift the other, lower and lower. Reverse, lift, lift, lower, lower, lift, lift, lower, lower. With as little movement of the body as possible. Lower, lift. Lift, lower, faster. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Two more. Down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up and hold. We're scissoring. Switch. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. In. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, one more round. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, and down. Well done. Okay, so from here, going to get us to extend our legs out. We're going to roll ourselves up into sitting. So take a big breath, bring the band in front and curl forward, reaching up, 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 up. And I'm just going to shuffle myself back. So you might want your feet just up the edge of the mat, just for comfort. We don't want to sit up nice and tall here. We don't have to have our legs out straight. You can have a soft bend, but I want you to pull your bottom muscles out the back. So you can feel the sitting bones easier to sit on. And you're going to loop around the feet. And I want to keep a gap between the feet. The band's going to want to draw them together. And you're going to have to work on these abductors to have to keep the legs out. Let's cross the band over again. And we're going to use that to do some nice upright row. So lift up through the chest, lengthen through the crown, and we're going to use the strong work between our shoulder blades. We're going to draw back and release. Draw back and release. Keeping that distance between the feet. Draw back. And release. Let's take one arm and draw back and release. Other arm. One more each side and then we're going to add a little extra. As we pull back one arm, I'm just to turn, looking over that elbow and then control it forward. And pull back, turn. As we're going the extra distance, we're going to keep the gap between our feet. It's really going to want us to pull in. Turn, pull, 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 pull. And release, turn, pull, pull, pull. And release, one more each side, turn. And release, turn. And we've got four double arms again, and pull. Release, two, three, and four. Well done, we're gonna let this the band come through the legs, but I want you to tuck your toes down towards the end of the mat. So the furthest distance between our feet and our hips is going to make this easier, right? But we still have to get these toes down to soften off our hip flexors. So I'm going to hold both parts of the TheraBand together between my legs. I'm going to use it like a mountaineering. <laughs> I'm going to roll myself down. Try to keep your feet down, feet flat. Exhale, push down through the feet. You're going to roll back through the spine block by block, controlling yourself down, and then you're going to use it to rock climb yourself back up. You're curling forward, and you're reaching, and you can use the band to assist you back up. All right, and again, exhale, curling down. Try to keep those feet on the floor. And up we come. Curl forward, reach. And we can make that slightly harder by bringing the feet in closer to the bottom. And the closer they are, the harder it is. Let's have a go. Rolling down, control it down nice and slow. 
Up we come as the true test. Let's curl forward and reach and sit. Yay, one more, last one, <laughs> rolling down. And up we come, reach and up. Superstars. Right, I'm going to loop the top foot, we're going to come onto our side. So then, top foot, top hand. Okay. Always remember I like the handles fixed towards the floor or against the top hip rather than a floating hand. So use the handles. We're going to push out give a little test run through the foot. So reach out. I want your foot to kind of overlap the mat. Have a go at pushing it further and then reach it in. Okay, again, push and in. Let's add a little lift. Push, lift, lower and in. Push, lift, lower and in. Push, lift, lower in. Push, lift, lower Two more. Push, lift, lower, and push, lift, lower, and push. Keep a long leg. Long leg. We're going to reach the foot forward and pull it back. Reach forward, pull it back. Now we can make that more challenging by taking the hand away from the belly, so closer to the edge of the mat. Hold it down. Forward, pull it back. There's more resistance there. Forward. Pull it back. What happens if we take the foot forward and reach the hand forward off the mat? Okay, we've got to pull back a lot firmer now. Are we ready? Pull back. Release. Pull back. Release. Two more. Pull back. Pull back. Well done. Release the band. It feels weird without the band initially. So we're just going to take the knee up just to activate that back of the glutes nicely and extend away and tap and reach three more tap reach tap reach tap and reach let's do that in torpedo so wriggle yourself out nice and long wriggle 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 and we're going to push long through that lower leg so we can release the top knee high and extend out again four more lift and reach away Left, reach away, up, reach, and lift, and away. So we're going to drop back onto that back hip. We're going to reach up like our teaser, and then control it down, and reach away. Open, and hands up, down, and away. Up, and scoop. And scoop, lower, away. Three more, up, scoop, down, scoop, down. Last one, up, scoop, down, and away. Well done, curl your knees up. We'll just give ourselves a little short arm openings, but we just want to make sure we've got that rotation, so we don't do that in our relaxation. So that arm to the ceiling, take the breath in, exhale, open, give yourself that really lovely big stretch, release across the front of the chest, One more, nice big full one. Up and over to the other side. 
Go and lasso the top foot. Down we come, fix the handle to the mat. Give ourselves a test run, push out through the foot, lengthening through the back of the body with that lovely extension and control the knee. And again, push, control it in. I want a longer leg, give that little extra inch reach, lift lower and in. Good job. Push, lift lower and in. Reach, up, down, and in. Couple more. Push, lift, lower, and in. Push, lift, lower, and in. So push long, keep the leg long, gonna bring it in front, and then pull it back in line. In front, pull it back. Now you can stay there with the hand, or just release the hand a little in front. Pull forward, pull back forward, pull back, and if you want, you can come forward, taking the tension off, place the hand off the mat, ultimate pull back, pull, and release, pull, release, two more, pull, release, and pull, release, nice job, release it up, oh, the floor's more comfortable, we're going to reach it up, so give yourself that nice little stretch. We're gonna come high with the knee. Just get used to this leg plane without the band. Up, reach away. Up, push. Up, push. Down, push. One more. Stay long, come into torpedo. Both legs up. Give yourself a wriggle, find extra length. Let's go for it, let's take that leg up. So that long bottom leg activated to help us release the top leg and tap and reach two and one well done up into our teaser dropping onto that back hip we're up scoop and control it down up lift control it down up, reach, control, down, lift, control, down, up, control, couple more, up, control, and one more, up, and away, well done, bring it in, knees up, reach the arms through the front, so we soften onto the back of the ribs. Take the arm to the ceiling. Breathe it in. Exhale. Open, open, open. Give yourself that nice release. A nice big extension. Well done. Up onto all fours. Just checking that alignment. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Make sure we've got them stacked well so we haven't got any leaning towers. We want to have a strong tabletop here. We're going to extend one leg out. Let's reach out with the opposite arm. Hold here, get the reach. Three knee taps underneath. One, tap, reach it out. Two, reach it out. 
three, reach it out and change. Extend, reach, that nice long line, activating, tap, reach it out. Two, reach it out. Three, reach it out. Let's do that one more each side. So reach, it's getting that posterior chain nicely working. Back and reach. Tap, reach. Tap, reach. And then switch. Last little go. Out. Tap, reach. Tap, reach. Tap, reach. And in. Tuck your toes under. So just do a couple of single leg pulses to activate that low, those low center. Exhale, float the knees. And lower breath. Exhale, float. Lower breath. I'm going to walk those legs. Counts to 10. Exhale, float the knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower breathe. Set the shoulders nice and low. Let's go again. Exhale, float. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down, breathe. Two more rounds. Exhale, float. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down, breathe. Last round. Exhale, float. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. I'm going to keep our hands and toes there. You're going to push yourself back up into that downward dog. So pushing through the hands, let the chest come through. Up onto those high toes and then let the heels push down. Up onto the high toes and push down through those heels. Well done. I want us to come forward into that plank-like position. So we're going to tuck our tailbone under. We're reaching forward with the head. And then we pull back with the hips into that downward dog. Still having to work these arms. Travel forward again. Travel forward. And then reach back. Push. Two to go. Travel forward. Reach back. Travel forward. Reach back. Hands walk to feet. One, two, three, four. Heels are down. Roll yourself up. Take a big breath in. We're going down again. And diving forward. Rounding. Rolling. Down we come. Soften the knees. Walking up. Four hand walks. One, two, three, four. Into that long line plank. We'll walk back in. One, two, three. Stay low. Out again, one, two, three, four, back in, one, two, three, four. Again, and we stay out, two, three, four, hold here. Can we bring a knee in and push it back? Bring a knee in, push it back. Bring a knee in, curl up and push it back. Bring a knee in, curl up, push it back. Walking back, one, two, three, four, take a breath, out again, one, two, three, four, do the same knees, directly in, directly in, in with a curl, pull it in, in with a curl, pull it in, walking back, two, three, four, coming down onto those knees and down onto the elbows, just release the wrists, because that's quite a lot of wrist work, release, release, well done. Key thing here is not to sink. We're going to push down through the elbows. We've got that nice lift. We're going to roll over the feet. So we're going to roll over a foot, push back through the heel. Roll over the other foot, push back through the heel. And then one knee comes in. And reverse. Open. Up. In. In. Out. Out. In. Breathe here. So we're going to slow that down. We'll do that whole process for a count of eight instead of the count of four that it is. So out, out, in, in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, again. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just reach back, doing that little stretch through the shoulders. Well done. Gonna bring ourselves up on all four, then we might change it down to that position too, just because it feels different. Okay, we've got a modified version of a thread the needle, so we're just going to focus on the up half. So we're going to open our arm to the ceiling, pushing from the floor, get the fingers as high as possible. Then you can take that arm all the way forward, reach towards the front of the mat, tap, lift the arm all the way back, follow it, big rainbow, all the way towards your back, reaching towards the wall, that's it. Bring it back up to the halfway, to the ceiling, and then bring it up. Other side, open, great height. Great height, and then reach forward, tap, lift, all the way back, up, and in, one more each side, open, push from the floor as high as possible, then take the arm forward, and take it back, big rainbow, and then up to halfway again, and in, last one here, up, and forward. And up, and back, and up, and in. We're just going to do a couple more each side, but down if you're comfortable to sit back like this. If the knees don't do it, you can be slightly further forward, but similar. So we're going to take the arm to up. We're going to reach forward, take it back, halfway again, and then other side, open, reach forward. Make the other hand longer. Up and back. Up. And, and change again. We're just going to have our little elbows. Alright, so we've got elbows to the side. Open. So we're just slightly higher. Reach forward. Up and back. Up on the side. And in. Last one. Lift. Reach forward. And up and back. And up, and in, hold on, up and all fours, we're good, we're good, side openings, all right, we're going to do the elbow one, just because it's similar to the positioning we had before, it does give us that nice chance to balance, we're going to lower one elbow to the mat, extend that other leg, so we're turning and reaching, we've got to make sure that leg is reaching, squeeze your glutes, so we're opening the front of the hips here, then we take our hands to the ceiling and we can turn and look. So we're reaching, we've got good balance. And come. Other side. Lower the elbow. Reach the foot. We take the hand. So coming out to that side balance. Great reach. Extend the foot. Activate. We just start to slide that movement together. So we're extending as we lower, reaching from our centers. And last one. Down and reach. Extend. Push it out. Reach. Well done. We're going to roll ourselves up onto standing. So push back onto the feet. Roll ourselves up. And we're back. Well done. Back to feet about shoulder width apart. Awesome. All right. We've just got our hands beside us. Did this with a bit of TheraBand work, and now we haven't got the TheraBand, so we have to, we're going to alter and see how we feel. So we're going to raise the leg, and we're going to take it to the side. So two forwards, so we'll come up with the knee. And my hands up with the knee, up with the long leg, and then to the side. Change sides. So it's knee, long leg, side. Knee, long leg, side, knee, long leg, side, okay, so just playing with 
all the muscles around the hip. So we kind of woke up with that theraband. Knee, long leg, side, one more. Knee, long leg, side, one more. Back to shoulder at the back. Time to walk. Okay. Reaching back into the glutes and the hamstrings. Sitting back, reaching forward. Sitting back. Reaching forward, come onto the toes and pause and just feel the muscles tighten around each joint. Everything's activated. Now we go up, push tall, lengthen, reach, and arms to the back. One more of those. Sit, tug a wall, reach, and pull back. Reach, and pull back onto the toes, and rise. Up, 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 up. Crack, 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 crack. Away. Well done. Take both arms up. Give yourself a little morning stretch. We're going to lean into one side. Let's do what feels good. We're going to stay there. I want you to breathe in. Stay here. Breathe out. Changing sides. Lean in and breathe in. Stay here. Breathe out. And release. And take the 